you know, I really hate that my numbering system failed me. That's why I do the numbering system, you know? Every Monday's a one or a six. Every Tuesday is a two or a seven. Every Wednesday is a three or an eight. Every Thursday is a four or a nine. And every Friday is a five or a ten. Like, that's just, you look at the last number, you know what day of the week it is, just automatically, right? That's why when we got filler, like, for instance, episode 97 is going to be filler. I'm not watching filler because filler is garbage on this show, at least. But uh, that means we're going to we're going to skip that day. That'll be a Wednesday or uh, Tuesday. Right. Hey, like I said, you, you should be able to look at the number at a glance. Right. So that's going to be a Tuesday. We're, so we'll have an episode on Monday and then we'll have an episode on Wednesday. We're skipping Tuesday because I need to keep that number in system. But there's no point in that if I don't remember when it's a five, like 55, I was supposed to do the character wheel. Now, I can say this in full honesty. I would not have done a character wheel on Friday. But I should have at least acknowledged that it, I should have. Because I typically do when I decide not to do one. But, and then on Monday with the 6, uh, you know, I should have been doing a comedy corner. I barely remember that at the end of the episode. So, just annoying. I mean, it's, you know, it's just housekeeping stuff. You probably don't even care. But if you're ever wondering, like, if an episode has come out today or not, look at what day of the week it is and then look at what the number of the most recent published episode is. Because every now and then I'll forget to schedule something or I'll schedule something wrong. Because I'm putting it in the schedule. I schedule for a whole week. Sometimes I'm just wrong. I'll say I uh, last week for uh, One Piece, I scheduled two episodes for Tuesday, when one of them was supposed to be on Wednesday. So you know that was just a screw up. But it's because you got to do the day of the week and then the time and everything. You got to set that all in place, right? So in case there's the, if there's a seven, and it's a Tuesday, then that's the episode that's come out that day. So it's just a, it's just a way to keep track. So anyway, that has nothing to do with this episode. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get back into the, t- the toad bouncing. <laughs> and so what episode does that make this? This is number 57. We're going on one. Three, two, one. Look at that big ass toad. Look, if you don't know where you are and why you're here, why are you grabbing the sides of the... Is that the... Is that the third... Hokaji, he's got the pipe. Does he turn into a toad? I don't think so. My point is that why grab the sides of the wall to brace yourself if you didn't know where you were and why you were here? He's a big boy, though. Oh, that's right. He didn't realize what he had created or summoned. I see. But why is he wearing clothes? <laughs> He's not a tadpole anymore. <laughs> I think the size would be plenty enough. <laughs> Thank you for the graphic representation of your failures. <laughs> Very happy with himself. It looks like I didn't murder him in cold blood. He must be King Frog. Yeah, <laughs> that frog's about to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the frog talks. I, th- I still think it's a person frog. <laughs> hey, thanks for saving my life. Okay, so not a human, he's just intelligent. <laughs> well, out of the frying pan into the fire, shall we say? <laughs> Damn your breath be stinking. Yeah, <laughs> get off my pipe. He's probably uh evil, right? They had him locked up for a reason. <laughs> You better hide. Hey. <laughs> He's coming for that ass. He's hopping for you. <laughs> you 
You coward ass. <laughs> He's right up there. <laughs> oh, really? You're not going to sell him out? It feels like an appropriate summation of his character. I like the voiceover actor for this toad. <laughs> um, no, that's not how this works. Henchman. <laughs> this toad means business, you know what? I'm going to kill him. Yeah. It was an accident. <laughs> Do you want to tell him? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Smash him. It means he's powerful. <laughs> Do you have, like, uh, tongue implants? What's the blue balls? I'm awesome. I thought you knew. Why do you else do you think I'm on top of you? <laughs> now you're starting to piss him off. <laughs> yeah. Kick him in the eye. Kneel before Zod. <laughs> yeah, I can't even pronounce your name. I'm not putting any respect in your name. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess they're like little grippers, those blue balls. Guess he's out of here. Yeah. He's a big boy. I mean, he's probably the size of about four elephants. Although, Naradu's like really small, so who knows, right? I don't know if we can go by scale on this one. Although, he's destroying entire trees, right? <laughs> Head first, huh? That's not a good landing. No, man, like he's bigger than trees. We gotta be talking about 20, 30,000 pounds. <laughs> not gonna happen. Kneel before Zod. Use a fox chakra on his ass. He was locked up. That's what I thought. Yeah. Hey, he saved your life. What more you wanted from him? <laughs> Incompetent, I'm saying. <laughs> this is probably for the best. You know he stinks. What do you want from him, man? Seriously. Is it about your ego? Is that what it is? Like, he saved your life. Job done, right? You know? Ha! Ha! It's about your ego. Gotcha. I guess this is good training, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> he is a bucking bronco. That's what I'm talking about. One of my friends was a bull rider. You have to last eight seconds. Eight seconds, that's all they're asking from you, right? Most people can't do it. Because they be bucking. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be grabbing his nostril, you know? 
Look at the property damage. He's destroying trees, uprooting the entire yards, man. Yeah, I don't believe you'd love to help me. Very troubling. Hey, just roll over, man. Stop, drop, and roll. I'll touch you new. This character is boring. Yeah, you're hungry. We get it. <laughs> yeah, F him. Yeah, sure. I am. I'm sitting here on my ass formulating. Oh, shit. Really? I guess it does depend on who you're coming up against, right? That makes sense. Because it's about your competition. Yep. F them. That's why. <laughs> this is politics, man. It's not your business. Follow orders. <laughs> oh, man. Fewer tanks, fewer planes. Right. I give you the same. We killed him. Yep, he's a problem. If this on idiot. <laughs> her costume makes no sense. The left leg has netting on her upper thigh. The right leg has netting on her. Um... <laughs> like I said, idiot. <laughs> uh, her lower leg. See that? It makes no sense. Why would your costume look like that? Do I get to kill people? <laughs> oh, yeah. Excellent. You got a lot of opinions for a grunt soldier. You're not even second level yet. F piece. It makes sense. I mean, this has kind of been their vibe from the beginning, right? <laughs> yep, it's been a long month. He's doing something. Oh, boy, that, holy crap. 
He must be wearing Air Jordans, man. He's got some air. Look at him. That'll get you off his back. <laughs> or not. That's right. Go down for about two hours. I know you're, uh, you need oxygen too, but still. <laughs> yep, that's right. Go up and get some air. Dumbass. <laughs> Draining half the lake, it's not going to matter. He's not letting go, buddy. Yeah, look at him. Oh, well. I wish him the best. Right. But see, there's limitless Fox Chakra, though, I assume. So, that doesn't matter. He just needs to tap into that again. I like that they did the flashback to establish this place, and now they're doing the current day, right? I like the music, it's ominous. <laughs> yeah, next time keep your ideas to yourself. You sicken me. <laughs> I love their ability to teleport. I assume it's like a substitution thing, right? He's on fire, man. Look at him. It's just uh, sun colored water, I see. <laughs> He's one bucking Bronco, man. This is a good stamina test, if nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, man. He's got some determination. Somebody locked you up for a reason. Maybe you should stop tearing up the forest and get out, the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, that's one way to end this. <laughs> I hope the frog police come and get this guy. Just call him master and then leave. You know. He's going to see you and that'll probably settle this matter once and for all. Well, not anymore. You're going to follow, huh? You can't hang on by one toenail. <laughs> hey, come and get him, man. <laughs> I question the physics of this. <laughs> Wouldn't a uh, toad skin be slippery? He's using more chakra, by the way. Nicely played. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it too much. In your toad ass. 
Yeah, he's dancing. He's doing a victory dance on your face, man. That's not nice. <laughs> I think the frog's going to catch him. He is a toad, right? Not a frog, but whatever. I don't care about that. Hey, you're going to help him. You, you admire the cut of his jib, don't you? <laughs> you have won my respect. <laughs> or are you going to eat him? You are going to renege, though. You already said you would. There's something to this kid. What? <laughs> hey, it's written in the toad. <laughs> That's why you saved him. You kind of knew, didn't you? I go sleepy now. It's a good place. To, this is a good training mission. I'll put it that way. Not these incompetent doctors. They can't keep control of any of the patients. <laughs> Look at the paw print. <laughs> Good stuff. So what is that creature right there? Uh, right there. What is that? I can't quite tell. Is that a dog? Or is it, it looks like a dog. It looks like somebody's on top of him. I don't know. Very weird. So this one's called, He Flies, He Jumps, He Lurks, Chief Toad Appears. It, it started off really inane, right? But, like, I think... I, I You know, I think the, the test of stamina and earning respect of a powerful creature like this that you can summon in the future is obviously very worthwhile. So it turned out to be worth it. As stupid as it, it felt like during the, the, the actual course of it. 